guys, welcome back to another video and welcome to my channel if you're new. Hi, my name is Femke and in today's video I wanted to share with you how I made this Halloween design. So this is actually, oh there's a little bit of sun right here, sorry about that. So this is actually a black base, it's a polish by Starly but I will get back into all of the information while showing you the rest of the video and there is like a green and an orangey yellow kind of streaky design on here it's really easy to do because you know me i love to share really easy to do and easy to recreate designs as well so that's what i will be sharing with you today it's another halloween ish kind of design pretty suitable for fall season as well so if you're not really into halloween you can definitely wear it during fall as well. But yeah, if you're new and you haven't subscribed yet, I would really appreciate it if you would like to do so. Hit that notification bell as well and become a part of my little nail family here at YouTube. But for now, thank you guys so much on forehand for watching. I love you so, so much and I hope to see you in my next video as well. So let's get into the entire tutorial, but first let me show you what I got on my nails on forehand because I didn't want to make this a super long video since it is such an easy to do quick design. But of course I have applied a base coat, I used one by Trend It Up, and the beautiful sparkly polish is by Starly. This one is actually a collab color with Kelly Marissa and it is just so gorgeous i love it so so much i have purchased this one myself um, from hypnoticpolish.com they're actually really affordable and really easy to get stuff from if you are in europe as well but this color is called fractal and i think i had applied two coats of that dark beautiful one and yeah let's just get into the creamy colors that i'm going to do the dry brush technique with so they're both by orly this first one is called plastic jungle it is a green, yes people, I am using green. Because this is like a Halloween slash fall design, I feel like green is a color you can't go without when it comes to designs for this specific season. And of course an orangey color, this one is called Dangerine Dream. This one actually came out looking a little bit of like a sunny yellowy orange color and not as super orange as the color actually looks like straight from the bottle so yeah keep that in mind i am working on a dark base color so the colors definitely look a little different in the end result because of that um like compared to what they look like in the bottle but yeah for the dry brush technique i have just quickly shown you right here you want to make sure you have just a tiny amount of product on your brush you don't want to really like wring it out or something like that just make sure there's like instead of your regular like 50 towards 60 percent um of product that's in your brush if you're going to apply it like a regular like manicure just make sure you have about like five like maximum 10% of product of what you usually would use to do this kind of like dry brush technique. And don't be scared to really like drag those bristles over your nail surface. Of course, make sure that your base color is already completely dry. And of course, you can recreate this with any color scheme or color combination of your personal likings. Definitely let me know if you're going to recreate this one. I always love watching and just looking at your designs as well, which are based upon designs that I did. So definitely let me know. Just send me a DM at Instagram or something like that with a picture. And yeah, I'd love to see what you are going to make of them. But when you're done applying your first color, I'm going in with the second one, which is this beautiful orangey kind of color. I love it so much. I'm really, really falling in love with Orly as a brand. They are still quite new to me. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I just really, really love that brand a lot. The quality is great. They are vegan, cruelty-free, and so on. And yeah, I can't wait to get my hands on some other colors by that brand as well. But yeah, I'm just going to do exactly the same for this orange color like we did for the green. And I just 
can't get over the fact that this color combination, like the orange and the green and just the beautiful dark flaky sparkly polish underneath it is just screaming fall and halloween to me i love it so much even though green is my least favorite color and orange is pretty much one of my favorite colors i really really like this combination and i don't feel like i dislike it because there's green in this so yeah we're actually like having a little bit of progress um when it comes to green because i just don't really like using greens either like i don't even really like wearing them but applying them i'm not a big fan of that either but yeah this combination is just bomb.com i love it so much and yeah i'm really really starting to like green just a little bit more like step by step you know we're getting there <laughs> but yeah you can just overlap the colors a little bit as well and you really don't have to be scared to have a little bit of like texture to the polish because of dragging the bristles and the brush really in that color i actually really like this design more with more of that texture and just it's just different looking if you know what i mean it's not as polished and perfect and clean as what i would usually go for but it's a little bit more rough around the edges and i just really like it then i'm also because there wasn't enough sparkle and glitter and flakiness going on yet i'm adding a little bit of an annie nail polish to this which is full on glitter in a clear base i actually got this polish when i was in greece back in september um if you want to see me do like a video on some colors that i also got when i was in greece definitely let me know because i haven't really gotten into those yet except for this one i got like six creamy colors from another brand and three super glittery ones from this annie brand annie paris i guess it's called the brand was totally new to me but i've seen them a lot when i was in athens so yeah i'm really really excited for that i actually limited myself to like 10 polishes tops to bring back home because last time in germany it went crazy i had like 50 towards 60 60 polishes that i got and yeah let me know what you think about this extra glitter that i added on top because personally i feel like there can't be too much glitter but you know some people don't like glitter and stuff like that so yeah let me know your thoughts on that i really liked it and the colors from the glitter actually match the colors of the entire design so well that i felt like it was meant to go on there you know but yeah after everything is fully dry make sure that everything definitely is dry before going in with your top coat i'm using one by h&m this one um, is quick drying but it has a little bit of like a thicker formula so it gives a really nice plump gel like effect if you know what i mean without it being actual gel and just a whole hazard and just ugh, annoying to take off if you know what i mean so yeah i'm just going to apply a good layer of that making sure to cap off the edges as well to just make sure that your manicure stays put for a longer period of time without any chipping or tip wear and so on I think this design would look really cool with a matte top coat as well, but I'm actually just doing, or at least I just finished recording a matte design for a video as well. So yeah, I just really wanted to keep this one fully glossy to really bring out the different colors and the sparkle and the flaky polish underneath. So yeah, there is a matte design coming up in about two weeks or something. So keep an eye out for that if you're interested to see a new matte design because i don't do those that often but yeah of course thank you guys so much for watching i love you so so much if you have any questions let me know down below in the comments and yeah as usual i would love to see you in my next video as well mm -hmm.